One point to be aware of, spend time. If you're having difficulties feeling your sitting bones, spend time doing exercises to practice feeling your sitting bones. And it's very similar to all the exercises we've done. So for instance, with the spine focused on lengthening, relaxing, lengthening, relaxing, we did that in relative isolation so that it is then easier to do it in an exercise like this. You don't have to think about how to lengthen your spine, just get on with doing it. Likewise with transverse abdominus activation, we did that in isolation so that now you can use it in the context of an exercise like this. With sitting bone awareness, with hip bone awareness, whether it's the A6 pubic bone, sitting bone, or even the P6, practice feeling and controlling those points in isolation. Likewise, the feet. Um, that is something that we will be getting on with, the feet and the knees. We will be getting back to the knee joints. I'm putting my hip bones, but we will be getting back to the knee joints. This is just a step towards learning your knee joints. And one thing I'd say about the knee joints is they can be affected by the hip flexors. They are also strongly affected by the hamstrings. So you could think of this as prep work for getting better control of your knees at the same time. Anyway, sorry for the long ramble. Hopefully this is helpful. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Stay.